Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Erica Yolanda. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Now, I know some of y'all are probably saying, why the hell Erica always looking like somebody auntie? The only thing she's missing is a cigarette. It's because I realized that I am somebody auntie. One day, somebody told me that I was like an auntie to them. I thought she was going to say a big sister. The little heifer said auntie. And ever since then, I realized I am Auntie Erica. If Beyonce can be Auntie B, I can be Auntie E. With that being said, I'm going to make this macaroni and cheese for y'all today. Joanna, baby, this is for you. Now, I got the noodles cooking. They're almost done. Why? Let me show y'all what you need. Hold on. All right, so I put my spin on it. This is an unsponsored video, but these are the noodles that I use. This is the Mola's brand that I've been using since a little kid. Only difference is, you see that? It says hidden vegetables. It's not all that starch. It's actually made out of vegetables. What that mean? Keto. Keto. So, it still tastes the same. You cannot tell the difference. I've taken this to many of parties, many of barbecues. Nobody knows the difference unless I told them. And now that we got the secret out the way for the noodles. Anybody that's, you know, on some type of diet or had any type of surgery or anything, this may be for you. I'm not a doctor. Use it at your own risk. But, this again, this is an unsponsored video, but who be making macaroni and cheese with all that, that pet can milk? That pet can milk. Hey! I told y'all, I'm somebody auntie. Hey! Got all my cheeses. I'm gonna do a blend. I'm gonna do a blend. I'm gonna do a blend. Blend, 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 blend. I'ma do a blend. I'ma do a blend. Don't try to jock my song neither. And I got my butter. Two sticks this time. Mm. Two sticks this time. Mm, mm, mm. Hey! I don't use a lot of salt, but I use a lot of pepper. Again, this is unsponsored, but I told y'all I don't compromise on this pepper on the pepper. Now you might see me with a little store brand salt, a little store brand garlic powder, but you will not see me without McCormick's pepper. And my girl Trish taught me this years ago. Went to Trish Barbecue. Trish, why is your macaroni and cheese so good? She started smirking. I found out that heifer was using Lowry's. Little Mike Lowry seasoning. So ever since then, I've been using Lowry's too. Y'all, it is Saturday. I look like it's Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to post this video tonight or tomorrow. Either way, y'all going to get it and you're going to get it raw. I have not looked like this all day. I actually been out in the street today. I looked it pretty good. However, I'm not coming home and cook in my good street clothes. One, I was just out in the street, so I need to change up and get clean. Two, in my good clothes. If I wear some grease or something on my clothes, I'm going to be mad as hell. So, with that being said, let me go check on the noodles. Stay balling, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. And this is what the noodles... Ooh. I might want to tilt this. This is what the noodles look like. I got my strainer in the sink waiting on them. So we can go ahead and strain those off. Ranch those off. They say, old people say ranch. Not rinse, ranch. Ranch those off. And again, we don't eat that much in my house. So if I was coming to your barbecue, if it was Thanksgiving, this would be a big old pan. And I would use two boxes. But because I'm learning portion size, I only use one box and watch how big this be too. So we got those drenching off, ranching off. And guess what? I'm not gonna mess up a bunch of dishes today. So that same pot that I boiled them in, is gonna be that pot that I mix them in. Y'all, I can't dance with it. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Gonna keep on cooking. Anyway, so those are draining. While those are draining. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my pet milk, y'all. And I'm gonna do it like my mama used to do. And the way that she used to do it, I'm gonna go ahead and parental advisory. Ain't nothing safe about it. Cause it wasn't until um, I grew up, I realized that we ain't had no can opener. So she would take the, um, see? I'm messing up already. Trying to be like Jan to see. She would take one can and put the knife right there and take the other can and hit it. Y'all heard it crack this now? <laughs> hey, it worked. That's how my mama used to do it. Again, I didn't know until we got older that um, 
She just ain't had no can opener. I thought that was just like a way of making it taste better. The hell ain't had no can opener. I don't think she got a can opener until I got a knife grade. I'm just saying. Oh, I forgot you watched my video. Sorry, Riley. Hey. Y'all, I'm in a good mood today. It's Saturday. And I am getting this out the way. I promised my girl Joanna I was going to make her some southern macaroni and cheese. I'm going to put it in the mail and send it to you, Joanna. While you out there keep on it, you're going to need to stay fed and hydrated. So I'm going to put this in the mail and send it to you. Y'all know Publix, this is unsponsored, sells um, dry ice. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something out the refrigerator, y'all. What did I forget, y'all? I forgot the eggs. I forgot the eggs. Y'all be got the eggs. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. I put my eggs in last because they're cold. And I like everything hot to go in first. So, I'm right here. So, I am taking my first stick of butter and I let it sit out so it gets room temperature because, let's be honest, y'all, I buy a lot of butter. I store a lot of stuff in my deep freezer. So, I had to get this butter out of the deep freezer for this video. So, I ain't gonna act like, oh, I just happened to have some, some soft butter sitting by. I did not. This butter was in my deep freezer just as nice and polite. Sure was. I had to let it sit out and unthaw. But guess what? If you cooking this macaroni and cheese without butter, something wrong with you. I don't sacrifice when it comes to certain things. And butter is one of them. And no, my cholesterol is not high because I lost weight. <laughs> I lost weight. That's why I'm telling y'all that um, I do make healthy meals. I cook with brown rice. I cook with... um. A lot of chicken. We don't do no pork in my house. I haven't done pork in over five years. We don't do too much beef. And I do a lot of keto. And this macaroni and cheese is actually, it's on the keto, y'all. I buy the Muller spaghetti noodles to make macaroni and cheese, the vegetable spaghetti noodles as well. I use the a lot of olive oil substitutes in my house. Well, I'll use olive oil as substitutes in my house, let me say. And y'all know I always say, y'all wash your hands, wash your hands. I cannot stand for my hands to feel dirty. Much on be dirty. I use a lot of paper towels in my house too. Now I got my nightgown on, so I do apologize because I did just take a shower. Now I got my butter in there, right? So I'm gonna take my my miniature big spoon and I'm gonna churn like this and get that butter mixed up in there. Go ahead and get that butter. Go ahead and get that butter. So that's my first stick, y'all. Once I get the first stick in there, then I go ahead and add my first pack of cheese which the first pack is going to be the tripper tripper triple cheddar y'all i've been out in the street today we went to the humane society in savannah we was going to adopt a dog and i feel so bad because we ended up not adopting a dog because i had to think i work from home and i cannot have a new dog in the house barking and so i could not adopt him today but hopefully when the time is right we are going to adopt a dog so, you know, it's kind of upsetting because my, my daughter, she really wants a dog and I really want to get her a dog, but I had to weigh the consequences right now. And the fact that I'm working from home, um, they just looking for a reason to get my ass because I talk a lot of trash. So all they need is a dog barking in my background to be like, right that for up. Ain't got no time for that. <clears throat> so again, I'm going in, I usually typically... My husband don't watch my videos, so he don't know. I put a little Philly cheese mozzarella in it. This is going to be so good, y'all. I'm not going to make a long video because I ain't trying to keep y'all here. So we getting it stirred up. I'm adding my cheeses as I go. I'm about to go ahead and add my eggs. And because this is a one box of noodles, I'm only going to add about six eggs. Because it's not, it, it, it's not a big macaroni. It's not... And I like to keep everything in order. So I got my little trash bag right here. So as I crack my eggs, I put them in the trash bag. So when I go to the trash can, I just got to drop it in one time. One time, y'all. Mm, mm. I am in a really good mood today. Because I've been in a pissy mood all day. So 
So that's why I'm all hyped and, you know, had to get this video out. Because guess what I'm going to do tomorrow? Not a jerker and thing. I've been off work since Wednesday. I worked Wednesday. I was off Thursday and Friday. And I have not done nothing productive. I mean, I've technically I've done stuff, but not productive. I told you, I took some mental health time. So, me taking care of my mental health is usually me just trying to forget what, what's making me feel crazy. I ain't ashamed. I know people be like, Erica, you is crazy. I am crazy. Hell, that's what I'm telling y'all now. So I'm turning my eggs up in it, y'all. Get the eggs, get that butter flowing. So we got one stick of butter in it already. We got six eggs in it because it's only, let me see if y'all can see it. About that much pot. And my sinks is clean. I don't clean no dirty, no, no dirty kitchen. That's salmonella. That's salmon nasty. That's salmon nasty. So I got six eggs in it. And again, I only use one box. And this is a 12 ounce box, okay? So I use one box. I've already put one and a half um, packs of cheese in it. And the cheese is the eight ounce packets. Yep, it's the eight ounce packets. So we're good on that. So now I'm about to put a can of milk in it. Hell, I forgot when you when you open the milk to get away that you got to put a hole on two sides. Otherwise, it ain't going to work right. Y'all, I'm ghetto. I am. I'm the most sophisticated ghetto person y'all ever seen. Ratchet at his best. Ask my friends about me. <laughs> Auntie Erica is a ratchet. I'm going to change my page to Auntie Erica because I'm riding here with this daggone bonnet on my head y'all the bonnet is not just because my hair is natural and it don't look like it's done because i actually had it i'm gonna post a picture my um cover picture is gonna be this bonnet okay it's not this bonnet but it's gonna be what i look like today when i was out and about i looked at good in them streets today yes i ain't look like auntie erica today in the streets i look like auntie erica when i'm talking to youtube but i love y'all y'all accept me for me right so I'm going to put in one 12 ounce can of the Pets condensed milk, evaporated milk for all of its goodness. And don't forget to shake it up first, y'all, because you got to shake it up. Shake, shake. All right. So this is looking good, y'all. This is smelling good. I got that mix up good just like that. I'm about to open up the second pack of cheese. Shake it up. I hope everybody is having a a good Saturday. It's very important to me that everybody is taking care of themselves and their, you know, mental health means a lot to me, but your physical health means a lot as well. But if you ain't mentally okay, hell, you can't be physically okay. Because when I ain't mentally okay, I don't feel worth two cents, y'all. I really don't. Let me not be feeling mentally okay. I be having knee joint pain, all kinds of stuff. It just one thing triggers another. I don't know why. But to the bereaved families, I'm praying for y'all. Those that are lost and just lost, I'm praying for y'all. So I put in my um Lowry, my, my Lowry season. Again, none of my videos are sponsored. But these are the things that I like to use. And I put salt and olive oil in the water when I'm boiling the macaroni and cheese. For the simple fact that that's going to give the um, noodles a little flavor and keep them from sticking and also all of this cheese is going to salt up this macaroni so don't wonder why erica don't never have no y'all yeah i'm crazy as hell. oh i did use both sticks of butter already y'all i'm looking around to my well, where's the butter y'all i done use all that butter both sticks of that butter and i this is the pan i'll be using today i'm used to using the big old aluminum pan but I'm learning portion size. So this is the casserole dish I'll be using today. I got it sprayed with olive oil so it don't stick. So we got that there looking good. And let me quit playing. Unlike Janice. I got a um a can opener. Sorry, y'all. I got a can over. So, I'm putting the second can. I ain't going to put the whole can of milk in there because this is a little one. So, I put about 
all together, it's gonna have about 18 ounces of the pet's milk in it, okay? It's gonna soak up all of that while it's cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a little bit more mozzarella creamy cheese in this. If you like your macaroni cheesy, good and creamy, this is a good add. A lot of people put cream cheese in their macaroni. I don't go that far because I wasn't raised like that. So you know, you tend to not to do everything you wasn't raised to do. I got my oven set at 400 because I told y'all I don't know nothing other than 400. That's the only temperature I know. Put this in the refrigerator real quick. All right. Adding a little bit more cheese to it. It's got a lot of butter in it. To open up this last thing of um, cheese. I put a lot of cheese in my macaroni, but I'm not gonna put a whole lot. Um, more inside of it because it's got plenty of cheese in it. I'm gonna use the rest of it. I'm about to turn the on camera, y'all, so y'all can see the pan. All right, there we go. I'm coming, y'all. I'm just adding a little more seasoning and a little more black pepper. Because y'all, y'all, it, it needs its black pepper. Now, you can't just put it in the oven without the black pepper. Some people put breadcrumbs on top of theirs. I'm not some people. And again, this is very keto friendly because these are made from vegetable noodles. And because it's made with so much dairy. And sometimes I use almond milk instead of pet milk. But because I'm showing y'all the southern way, I ain't going to show y'all the Erica way. I'm going to show y'all the southern way. And I'm pouring it in that pan, that casserole dish. And it just made it, y'all. Because I was wondering if I needed to pull out my bigger casserole dish. And I was like, no, I think I got enough because it didn't look like it was that much. Because I always use two boxes. I don't know how to use just one box. So... I'm trying to get, I'm, y'all, I'm cheap. So I'm trying to get all this cheese up out of here. All this goodness. All right. So we got all that goodness up out of there, right? We got it ready. It's getting ready to go in the oven. But what are we missing? Y'all, it's time to put the top on it. Y'all see that there? It's called a top coat. Y'all don't know nothing about that top coat. Just that top coat, y'all. This thing got so much good cheese and so much good milk in it. And that good pet milk. Them people don't use that good pet milk. That the old people used to use that good canned pet. That hint of sweetness. And I got like three bags of cheese inside of this, okay? I actually got four bags of cheese inside of it, if I tell y'all the truth. So... I'm just coating the top now. And I like my whole top coated. So I'm probably getting ready to go in the refrigerator and get another bag. And I usually have some um, blocks of cheese. But. Somebody, the cheese was on sale. And I think somebody knew it and they brought up all the cheese. So. And I don't use store brand cheese. There's some things I don't compromise on. That's one of them. I don't compromise on my brand of cheese. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Publix does have a really good store brand cheese. So, I'll take that back. I will use a, a Publix store brand every now and again. So, I'm going on top with some mild and some sharp cheddar. And then, in between, I'm just gonna throw some, um, a little bit of more mozzarella on the top of just a little bit. You know, these people in my house, they're funny. They, if they know what's in it, they might not eat it. And anybody that's ever ate at my kitchen know I ain't gonna feed you nothing wrong. I'm a fat girl with bad habits. Leave me alone. Well, no, I'm a fat girl with healthy habits now. I'm, I'm down 130 pounds, y'all. I keep saying I'm gonna sit down and tell y'all how, how I lost that much weight. Those who don't know. Those of y'all that don't know, gonna have to wait till I tell you. Okay, 
I'm not gonna cover this up with no aluminum foil. But what I am gonna do is put my baking sheet. Cause this bad boy might bubble over. And I told y'all my oven and stove is glass. I don't need no problems. And by problems, I don't wanna hit my husband out by nothing. But yes, y'all, I'm gonna let that go in the oven on, it's actually on 375. So I'm gonna let it go on 375 for about an hour and a half, play it by eye. When you see it's bubbling over and melted to, the, to your liking, that's when you can pull it out. I can't tell you how long to actually cook it, because again, I'm going using a different pan today. I'm not using my church big soil um, foil pan. These are the only seasons that I use. This is my main ingredient. And the vegetable noodles that makes it healthy. Kraft cheese or Sorgento cheese are the only cheeses that I use. And Recant, sometimes I use Publix brand. Desperate time, times only call for desperate measures. But that being said, y'all, this video, this video is already almost 22 minutes. I ain't trying to hold y'all here that long. I wasn't trying to hold y'all here that long. Joanna, when you see this video, let me know what you think. Because I made this macaroni and cheese for you. This macaroni and cheese was not supposed to be made before Thanksgiving. But because I love you, I went ahead and made it. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash this pot because it's getting on my nerves over here. And I'm getting out of here. I will not post, if this video posts, whether it be Saturday or Sunday, y'all will only get a video that day. You will not probably not get a video before Tuesday or Wednesday. So, y'all be safe. Y'all have a good week. Auntie Erica. As they say, y'all, my feelings was a little bit hurt when the girl said I, I thought she was going to start reminding her of her big sister. That little bitch said, auntie. Oh, I'm, I'm gone, y'all. My mouth just got loud. Okay, be safe. I'll see y'all again next week if the creek don't rise.